Hey guys, it's time for math. Um, I want to remind you that uh, for math today you need this lesson nine um, page and then you also need the my um, my review which is on the back. However, we're not going to do this whole thing, okay? So once you have this out, go ahead and rip the back page off, the one that says reflect, rip that one off, but I still want the first page of the my review, okay? So we have three pages of math to get through, which is a little bit more than normal, but you guys are gonna do just fine with it, okay? I also wanna remind you that your number talk, how many suns do you see, is due on Friday if you wanna be part of the video that gets sent out on Monday, okay? So make sure you send me either a um, picture or a video of you solving this, only if you wanna be a part of the, the video, okay? All right, math today, we're gonna to get started. Um, with a warm-up, uh, I want to count by tens all the way to 100, and then I want to count back down by tens, okay? So a little trickier when you count backwards by tens. Don't forget that you have your hundreds chart in your blue folder, okay, to help you out. Uh, it's always good to keep something like that handy. It helps keep you on track if you're not sure if you're going to be good at this. I have an extra one right here, so I don't have to hold the whole folder up. All right, so we're going to practice counting first. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. Okay. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And then we're going to go back down. Now I know your hundreds chart goes further. We're just going to go to 100. Going back down. Ready? 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Awesome job. Mrs. Doyle used to do that with us at PE sometimes when we do our arm circles forward and then backwards, we'd go by tens. It's excellent counting practice. Wonderful job. All right, time to move forward. Go ahead and get your um, pencil and paper ready and we're gonna get started on the lesson nine page. All right, let's go. All right, guys, this lesson today is about time to the hour and half hour, kind of a review of both, okay? Now, it says on the bottom, a class went to the library at 1.30, okay? Find the analog and digital clocks in the picture and show 1.30 on both, all right? 1.30 looks like this on the digital clock. 1 is the hour, 30 are the minutes, 1.30. the analog clock, we do the hour hand first and we know that it's the one o'clock hour. But since it's 1.30, we know it's not gonna point directly at the one o'clock. It's going to be halfway past it. So halfway to the two. So right here, pointing between the one and the two. And it doesn't go all the way to the edge of the clock because it's the hour hand or the short hand. Now the minute hand, also known as the long hand, is going to be showing us 30 minutes. But remember, there's no 30 on the clock. There's no written 30. We have to know that each of these numbers is five minutes when we're talking about the minute hand, okay? So knowing that, you can either memorize that the six is where the 30 is because it's a half hour. 30 is half of 60, 60 minutes in an hour. Or you can count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, okay? So we're gonna have the minute hand pointing all the way to the edge of the clock to show that it is the longer hand. When you're drawing times for your teacher, it's important that you do this. The hour hand only goes halfway. It doesn't even touch the numbers. The minute hand always goes to the edge. That way the teacher can see that you know the difference between the hour hand and the minute hand. Go ahead and open up to the next page. Okay, you can tell time to the hour and the half hour. All right, one hour is 60 minutes. The red hand is telling the time, the hour, okay? And the red hand is always reporting first, okay? The shorter hand. So this clock is showing nine o'clock because the minute hand is on the 12th, nine o'clock. We don't say nine zero, we say nine o'clock. All right, over here, when the minute hand is pointing at the six, that means 30 minutes, okay? So now the, the hour hand has moved past the nine a little bit, 
okay, to show that we've gone a half of an hour. It's halfway past the nine to the 10. So now it's 9.30, 9.30. And that is the way that you can tell with the hour hand if it's directly to the hour or if we're past the hour, okay? If that hand is pointing directly at the nine, it would be nine o'clock. But since it's in between, we know it's past the hour, which is now at 9.30, okay? So take a look at this one, number one. Look at where that red hand is pointing. Is it pointing directly to a number or in between two numbers? In between two numbers. It's between the 11 and the 12, okay? And since we're talking about half hours, I know that it must be 11.30. 11.30. How come it's not 12.30? The reason is, is because this hand is always moving in a clockwise direction. Oh, sorry, I'm covering it in a clockwise direction. And so it, when we're here, it hasn't made it to the 12 yet. So it's still 11.30, all right? Half past five, okay? Half past is 30 minutes. Sorry that mine got wiggly, okay? And which means we write 5.30, 5.30. Half past is just a fancy way of saying a half hour or 30 minutes. It's all the same, okay? 5.30. Now remember the difference between an analog clock and a digital clock. Digital has numbers like digits and analog has a face, okay? Turn your paper again. All right, I want you to try these on your own. So in just a moment, you'll pause the video and you'll draw in the missing hands, okay, the missing minute hand, that's the long hand, and you'll write the digital time, okay, on each one. Remember, if it's not pointing directly at a number, then that means the minutes are 30. And if it is pointing directly at a number, the minutes are o'clock, okay, or zero, zero. All right, go ahead and pause. Okay, this clock shows 3.30 because it's halfway to the four. This one's pointing directly at the nine, so it's nine o'clock. This one is pointing between the one and the two, so it's 1.30. This one's pointing directly at the eight, so it's eight o'clock. Right here, this was a tricky one. It says right half past two on the clock, 2.30. Right, six o'clock on the clock. Six o'clock or six zero zero, okay? But we say six o'clock. Excellent work, guys. Turn to the final page. Problem solving. Solve and write the time on the clock. The hour hand is between one and two. The minute hand is on six. What time is it? Ooh, well it just told us to draw the minute hand on the six. And I know that that means 30, okay? Mine got sloppy again, I'm sorry. Okay, 30. Now between the one and the two here, okay? So it's not yet two, so we know it's still one. And this is 30, so it's one, 30. Excellent job. The time on the clock is one hour after two one hour after two. What time is it? We add an hour to the hour side. This is the hour side. So two plus one more hour would be three o'clock. All right. This question where it wants you to write about math says how many minutes after the hour does this clock show? When the minute hand is on the six, how many minutes? I hope you said 30. And we're gonna write, and it's because each number is five minutes. Okay, each of these numbers is five minutes. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 
but only for the minute hand, which is the long hand. Go ahead and pause the video and finish writing that before we turn to the next page. All right, guys, here we go, the vocabulary section. I'm not gonna make you do these on your own, and this is not a test. What I wanna do is read these to you with the correct answers in them, and I want you to write the correct answers and read them along with me just to learn these words and to become more familiar with these words and how they should sound when they're used, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up and write those words and then you pause the video and write them down too, and then we'll read them together, okay? All right, go ahead and take a moment to write those in, okay, and we will read them. You can choose to pause now and write, or as we go. All right, I'm gonna read these to you. I don't know if you noticed when I was filling them out that I actually did number seven before number six. And that's a strategy I use. If I'm not sure of one, I'll skip it and come back and check it, okay? And that's what I did there. But I wanna read these words, these to you, and I'd like for you to follow along and read with me, okay, at the same time. Ready? A digital clock is a type of clock that only uses numbers to show time. A digital clock uses numbers. Awesome. 30 minutes past the hour is also called a half hour. Excellent. To find the length of an object, you can measure it. That's what we did at the beginning of this chapter with paper clips. Okay. You can measure how long an object is or its length. Awesome. Number five, an analog clock is a clock that uses an hour and minute hand. And o'clock is a word used to tell time. And there are 60 seconds in one minute. I had a mess up right there because I'm using this green pen so that you can see it better. Um, you would have been able to erase it if you messed up there, but there are 60 seconds and one minute. Excellent work with those vocabulary words. Let's turn the page. For independent work today, I want you to do this side on your own, okay? We're gonna order the objects by length. Write one for long, two for longer, and three for the longest. Another way to say this would be write three for the longest and one for the shortest, okay? Then use your paper clips to measure about how long these are and these. Now I know this one says cubes, but we're using clips, all right? So you do those on your own. And then it wants you to write the time on these digital clocks here, eight o'clock and half past three. All right, take a picture of this one if you want to now, or you can do it on Friday. This is one of the things that's due on Friday, all right? Make sure that you double check the email for any additional work in math. And that's it today, guys. Excellent work.